Welcome back, Commanders. This is Commander Gruen Crib, and welcome to Maya XM. I'm joined by... I'm Commander Stephanie Atronach. And I am Commander Felix Jefferson. And, uh, well, tonight we got a lot of Thargoid stories, honestly. <laughs> Pretty much just yeah, Thargoid a, stories. Really. Yeah. So, seems to be the hot topic at the moment. Um, so, I mean, they've been doing that thing with Salvation. They're claiming it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the end of Thargoids. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, that's that's bold, and uh, I I hope he's right, but uh, I, I'm not going to hold my breath on it. I mean, it's yeah. not the first time we've heard that Thargoids aren't around anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, in my trip to Colonia, I've kind of realized there ain't much out there, and uh, I, not that I think we should keep them around, but, you know, definitely maybe worth looking into them more, because... I mean, we see the Guardians, and we we don't know much about them, so maybe there's more to learn, but at the same time, if they are attacking us, yeah, that's not good, so I don't know how I feel about wiping them out, but yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, there's not, I mean, if they keep attacking, though, there's not much we can do about it at this point. It's kind of out of our hands. Mm-hmm. They might even be out of their hands. They're getting attacked by Thargoids, they're getting, you know, accused by the Far God cult, like, oh, that's got a lot there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just feel like, uh, hopefully we're not poking at the bee's nest, uh, bee's hive. Cause, uh. Oh, we are. <laughs> I could... Yeah. I'm hoping that if we're poking at it though, we're poking it hard enough to get that thing out of here. I also want to know like what the, what assurance mm-hmm. that they, they have that this will work. Cause like, you know, he's yeah. saying it'll, it'll wipe them out across the entire galaxy and cool beans, but like they have a whole different way to get in and out of witch space than we do. How do we know it's right. going to hit any of them? You know, what if they all just yeah. pop into a different space for a second and then come back? Yeah. I, I think, you know, if we really wanted to completely wipe out the Thargoids, we would have to somehow get into witch space. I mean, and like, mm-hmm. you know, bring the fight think- to them. Or at least have more control exactly. like I mean, they do. Yeah, because yeah, they're clearly able to come to us. We need to be able to come to them. Um, and I think uh, we need to find a way to get there before we cut all connections. But at the same time, eh, you know. Well, I mean, you got about two weeks. Yeah, yeah. get get researching. Figure out how to do multidimensional time travel and all that fun stuff. <laughs> figure it out. I'm just saying Dr. Witcherly, Witch Space, you know, it's all fitting mm-hmm. together. <laughs> oh. And, and uh, you know. Oh my. Well, maybe they're a witch and they're getting into Witch Space. You know that witchcraft. Right? Yeah. It's <laughs> Only time will tell, I guess. We'll see what happens Great. in two weeks if it, you know, works or if it backfires tremendously. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we are. Just yeah. wait and see. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, it's going to kind of backfire because, yeah, let's be honest. But then I I wonder if, you know, the Thargoids think we're on to something because they've been attacking that system, like, really hard the past couple days. Yeah. I mean, it's not the first time Salvation's fired their weapon. Yeah, I was going to say, it also doesn't help that we took a bunch of Guardian stuff there. It's kind of like bringing up the old Mm. past for them, so they might not yeah, really be happy yeah. about that and uh, they're kind of going hey stop it you were just saying how it's like oh you know we don't really know a lot about guardian stuff but i mean yeah here we are <laughs> using as much of it as possible yeah that we can get in order to try to figure it out and, and it seems that it is, yeah i mean even at that we're just trying to figure out how some of this stuff works and they're over here just gunning us down because we have some old stuff you know, I ain't Clearly gonna kill you because you're talking yeah. about my ex. So, I think uh, something's going on in the back, and oh, yeah. I feel like something's out there, and we we got to figure it out. Um, sadly, there's a lot of stuff to explore and try and find, so it's either gonna take forever or we'll get lucky. Mm-hmm. I mean, the battles seem to be going well. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, combat. Well, especially with the uh, the capital ships in there now. I feel like mm-hmm. that's probably going to help us out a lot. But I still think we're mm-hmm. uh, definitely behind the curve when it comes to technology, you know? I mean, they have just so much more grasp on 
jumping and witch base and whatnot. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, we, mm-hmm. we're using the Guardian tech and it's kind of working, but like, you know, um, yeah, it's like yeah, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta really work on that stuff to make it work. People are saying they're like biomechanical. I mean, that probably helps out a lot, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. If, we, if we had a more integrated life with technology like integrated into us as a species it would definitely be a lot easier for us to make technological advancements or even just to drive of necessity to continue to keep ourselves alive maybe that's why yeah. they're so far ahead is that they just have to be is not say if they're biological and we are mechanical what were the guardians be considered well, we're AI not mechanical or... we're biological they're biomechanical well as in the the idea that you know our technology is primarily you know mm. mechanical we use mechanical stuff while they typically use more biological stuff you know stuff they can grow so mm. what are the guardians imagine use, growing you know? imagine if you could just like grow a corvette oh that would be yeah that would, make yeah, that would be great <laughs> Water it, you know, once a week and yeah. get plenty of sunlight. Just, so. like, feed it some um, uh, drop ships and then, you know, over time. Yeah, little pieces of, like, chew grow mm-hmm. eagles and stuff. Yeah. Some <laughs> shield emitters and eventually, mm-hmm. yeah. you got yourself a little baby Corvette. Turns to a Farragut when it grows old. Yeah. <laughs> we really don't have exactly. a lot to talk about this episode. <laughs> so, um... There, there is something going on other than Thargoid, kind of. I mean, it's a little more minor. Uh, Red Family leader, it looks like, is uh, being kind of pinned down by the Federation. Um, but they have asked for help to help pin them down and make sure they don't slip away. Um, mm. I do find that kind of interesting. I mean, cracking down on crime. Mm. Yeah, Federation just recently has been, like, really cracking down on narcotics and, uh, you know, all these mm-hmm. crime families and whatnot, which is interesting. Um, I guess it's, you know, it's very Federation-esque, but it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know why, it, like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, now we need to go after these people. <laughs> was not say, when, when's their next re-election coming? Yeah. It's oh, up. yeah, that's coming up. That's a good Think point. Think about that. Get all the stuff done right mm-hmm. before an election yeah. cycle, and Hudson yeah, you sound really good. Kind of, yeah. Hudson's probably thinking, "I gotta look like I did a thing, and didn't just yeah. stall." And he's trying to f- get stuff together. Yeah, hopefully they don't write the name down wrong because there's already like another Hudson that's running. So yeah, there's like <laughs> we don't need yeah, <laughs> it's... need any more Zachary's running. All right. <laughs> hopefully they don't write they write Zachary yeah. Hudson and not Zachary whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, two said the there's two Hudsons, two is too many. Yeah. yeah. We we already sp- spoke about how this was going to become an issue with there being two Zacharies, and it's just, I mean, you know, yes. it's already making itself apparent. I'll make the changeover easy if the other one gets elected. They just have to, they have to do half oh, the sure. work, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I vote that we, like, change one of their names to something completely different. That way we can just easily differentiate, differentiate between the two. Because I just and Carol. Yes, one yeah. of them will be named Carol. Sounds like okay. So Zachary Hudson will refer to as Zachary, and the other one will refer to as Carol. Car- yeah, okay. yeah. And say okay. Carol Hudson doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, I was just say, or we could swap them, and we can make their last names their first names, and their first names their last names, and then they're related. Hudson Zachary. Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, and whatever the other guy's name. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly, he's important as we. He you know, is. It's just like he's also. I running. mean, he is important. Yeah, it's just that you know. <laughs> We've been focused on the guardians and the Thargoids yeah, and stuff like Thargoids. that. That rack them. We're kind of just like. That's right, rack them. Oh, rack them because it just doesn't feel. Rack em. I thought it was an R. It just doesn't feel important rack em right now. Rack Hudson. You know, like no. a political well, politics. Rack, rack. Just don't seem. It's a lot going on. Yeah, we're going to see how this em. ends. That's what we're focused on. After that, you know. Yeah, uh, we tune it down. We got too politics. much going on. How do we have too much going on and at the same time nothing is going nothing on? To talk about. <laughs> that sounds yeah. concerning. <laughs> It seems like, like, you know, like the whole galaxy is just kind of holding their breath right now, waiting to see what happens with yeah. these Thargoids. Yeah. Because it's such a... I, I mean, swear. like, if they're just gone, it's they're gonna... gone. Yeah. What is Pranav and Tal going to do? 
I don't know. I was going to say, I, I, I'm waiting for this just to fizzle out, and everyone's like, all right, back to stuff, and everyone <laughs> has no clue what to do because they're just like, we have no what idea what to do. Doing? Oh, yeah. And no, like, we're going to be trying to give like oh. Ishmael Palin stuff, and he'll be like, I need more stuff. And we'll be like, why? And I'll be like, I don't know. I need more meta allies. Why? Why do you like I need it? I just want them. Maybe. Don't ask why. Crushing meta Oh, you think it's like a drug to him? Mm hmm. It's how he gets his high. He it or snorts it. I mean, it's got to be going somewhere. We'll find out. You know, the Thargoids all disappear if he's still sitting there going, I need more meta allies. We'll be like. No. Like, Has hmm. anyone seen him recently? Is he like scratching a lot and like, you know, like on edge all the time, constantly looking he over his shoulder, sick. looking for he, more meta alloys? If any of our viewers know him personally, you know, take a look at him and yeah. send an Does anonymous he have six legs? letter, maybe? An exoskeleton? Mm. Is he. Does he pilot a large flower? Is he a Thargoid? Is he now resistant to the uh, Thargoid probe? Maybe it, maybe is what that it what is. He's been doing. He's been like is that... microdosing it and slowly building mm-hmm. immunity. Yep. yep. <laughs> Does that mean that is. this uh, this super weapon going off might affect him? We'll oh, it him. might. Yeah, maybe he's just gonna he's just gonna disappear. <laughs> Again, viewers, if you know him, keep an eye on him because for I, all we know, he's yeah. just gonna poof one day and we're like, where'd he go? Where are all? Yeah, I'll just all know if he's allies. still here after this. The real question is, so. what is what exactly? Like, how big of a blast is this thing going to be? Because, like, before, it was just this, like, you know, a sonic thing that killed the ones that were closest to it and then made the other ones run away, right? But if this is supposedly going to be strong enough to kill every Thargoid in the entire galaxy, like, now I'm more worried about what it's going to do. Right. Maybe we should, like, you know, evacuate everyone. Yeah. Like, well, but so the thing was before, right? I'm assuming it's like basically the same weapon, just upscaled and like modified a bit. Mm-hmm. It was all like frequency based, right? Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> just gonna blast all this noise into the galaxy, like. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, change the radio station, guys. Yeah, it might not be such a great idea, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I and the more I think about it, it you know. You've corralled a bunch of, you know, people, commanders, private pilots, all those things into this one system, and you're saying that you're going to let off this super weapon that's going to help them all. I mean, it's almost like you're corralling them to, if it hurts them, your defense would just be, well, I was doing it for humanity, I was trying to save them and we're gonna be like oh yeah that makes sense but at the same time we got to be careful like uh are you doing that for humanity or do you have some right sinister ideas going in the back well that's what a few people are worried about honestly yeah did they test that at all with the other one like did they see if it actually affected anyone in close range or not that i'm aware of was it just the thargoids as as far as as far as i know it was just the thargoids because i mean they keep using it and there are still people near it while they use it and they're fine afterwards Mm -hmm. yeah okay i don't have reports of it because i would like to know you know what's going on is it you know just like a wave that comes out at you is it a you know, it's yeah. noise that you hear, or does it just... Is it some? Is it cool? Oh, there it goes. Like, does it you sound know. cool, or is it, you know, is it, like, grating to the ears? Yeah, does it sound like, you know, some noise? I, I don't know. I really want to know, because, yeah, and the fact that we don't have a commander to say or what happened and how it went, that, that that's another one of those, ah, uh, maybe we should keep an eye on it. Yeah, So, maybe. yeah. Um, those of you in hip22460, yeah, have fun. Uh, stay safe. <laughs> and say, hopefully you have your shields up and, uh, brace for impact. Of course, yeah. you know, that is if the far gods don't get to salvation, uh, before all this, because, <laughs> you know, they're obviously such a threat. Yes, uh, they really are. And, mm-hmm. you know, Operation Witch Hunt is is going off right now as we all know um Mm -hmm. i don't know what it's doing to be fair but (laughs) i don't know what they're trying to really accomplish but 
um, besides proving that Salvation is this Dr. Witcherly from yesteryear or whatever, but... Yeah, mm -hmm. and last uh, time I heard about a witch hunt going on, it, it kind of ended bad, you know? Yeah. Kind of freaked out over nothing, and people died, and now we look at that and go, maybe we are trying to find a pattern where there is no pattern, but, yeah. uh, you know, us being humans, we just put two and two together and go, it must be that. So maybe, maybe we <laughs> should not do that. <laughs> Don't claim... Speaking of cult leaders, though, I mean, it's been a pretty quiet week. Do you guys think we could get Pranav and Tal on the show, or you think? I mean, he's probably not doing no, anything, I... right? I mean, is he ever doing anything? I hope he's not doing anything. I don't want him. <laughs> he just... <laughs> you don't want to... You wouldn't want to, like, just sit here and just roast and tall for, like, 30, 40 minutes? <laughs> that is true. That would be kind of nice. I, I would like it. sounds like, like an amazing like, day to me. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. I, yeah. I think that would be great. <laughs> if if we can get enough backers, can can we... See if we can get him on here. Don't tell him that we're going to roast him, though. Yeah, if you know uh, Pranav and Tal personally, <laughs> please reach out yes, to us, that would Commander, be great. at uh, you know? MyXM. We would love to talk to you and your friend, Mr. Antal, um, and see, see what even is, is going on, honestly, because I don't know what he's doing. I don't even know if he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, as I was gonna say, compared to... Uh... You know, other, you know, superpowers and stuff. Like, everyone else has kind of been outspoken and stuff. Especially, like, the independent ones, you know. Yeah, Yuri Grom, who's taken a lot of power all of a sudden. Even, um, um what's his face? Mm -hmm. Uh, um, the pirate. I forgot his <laughs> name. Oh, yes, <laughs> even the pirate. <laughs> yes. Kumo Crew, even he's not, been not, kind not of Yuri outspoken, Grom. but... <laughs> yeah. The one we were just talking uh, about for, like, three weeks in a row. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's how much yeah. of an impression that story left on me. <laughs> yeah, we've just been focused on Thargoids, which, yeah, I think mm. that kind of goes to show that we kind of forgot a lot about what's going on. Without looking it up, if you could guess what uh, yeah. his name is, what do you think? Uh, it would it be... Delane? Just guess. Oh, shoot. I think it's Delane. Right. Yeah. Yep. It is. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Go I mean, ahead. good yes. job. <sighs> Yes, see, I know my stuff. I I have been in, in the loop, clearly. Oh, but here's a tough one for you. Who oh. is one of the other Empire ones who's the, like, warpath person that's, like, you know, leading the Imperial oh. Navy? Oh, the see, uncle uh... or whatever. Um, yep. Admiral. I know his name. Are you looking at it? I don't. N no, I just, I remember his name. I don't know why. I'm totally not looking it up. I can't, can't, hear my... <laughs> can't hear my keyboard. It's really quiet. <laughs> so much is going on. What's his name? Well, Once again, me. if you if you know what? Uh, wait, oh, you still don't know his name? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I can't, can't find. Hey, I'll it. tell you the letters. Yeah. His first name starts with D, and his last name starts with P. Dat yeah, yeah, really? person. Nothing. That person. Uh, Dead <laughs> Patrius. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When's the last time you heard anything about that guy? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a fair 10 point. seconds ago when you're talking about him. But other than that, yeah. not much. <laughs> other than that, though. What does he so. even do? Like, uh, I mean, we talk about Pranav and Tal more than we talk about that guy. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I if mean, you think about it, right, like, uh, I know he was fairly famous in the back for taking out Marlinists, and they just got independence, like, yeah, a month ago, but so I mean, clearly, it, he's not really I even mean, doing his job. Yeah. yeah, and I don't remember hearing his, or seeing his name in any of those stories, either. Yeah, he's been kind of on the low. Maybe he's decided a hands-off approach to everything is just the way to go. Mm -hmm. Has he given up? <laughs> Maybe. She just, I give up, guys. Is he in the bottom of power play? It can't be, right? It's got to be like... No, I think... Uh, Zemina or something. The, the old lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The old lady she's... that looks like a spider person. I don't she know why. Like, she reminds me of spiders. Like nothing. Nothing she all looks the like time. you could like, throw a rock at her and she might, you know, collapse. So that's... She does. She does look like that. Yeah. 
Though she does also look very unpleasant, but at the same time very pleasant to be with. Like, pleasant if you're friends with her, very unpleasant if you're not. You know? Like, she I don't know, I think she anyone. looks pleasant to be friends with, honestly. Yeah, just like overall, all the way I, just, <laughs> I don't really want to know her. I, I feel like, I feel like if you were, like, with her and, like, she, you know, you're friends with her and stuff and you just didn't say anything, I feel like it'd be kind of nice, because, like, you know, you're getting free food Like, and all just that. living but out I feel of like fear? Everyone else, <laughs> yes, exactly. But, I mean, <laughs> it's free, free living. You don't have to do anything. I mean... Uh, yeah, but there's there's certain things where, like, free living is worse off than just having a normal life, I say. Yeah, that I, is I true. don't know. She just don't seems miserable. Ever. I, I don't. Yeah. But, you know. No. It's no. there. She's there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean. But once again, Commander, if you know uh, either Ishmael Palin or Pranavantal personally... Please get in contact. Here, let us know let's, how let's Ishmael make it was easier. doing. Let's make it well. easier. If you know any of the superpower, you know, power play leaders, have them have them give or us a call. Ishmael. You know, and say that you know, if yeah. you want someone. Uh, do you live in fear of Zemina Torval's wrath? <laughs> do you want to come <laughs> yes, on the show? If you can get one of her like henchmen, you know, someone who's below her. Do you fear her for your life every day? And we'll, we'll hear yeah. the horrible stories that probably go on, you know. Yes, she whips me every day. It's abusive, but I must do it for my pay. And of course, you know, we're, we're honest people. We'll, we'll uh, 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 you know, hide your identity, of course. Like and... Yeah, totally hide it and not botch it. Oh, yeah, 100%. We'll definitely, uh, yeah. And if anything, we'll, we'll, you know, start a fundraiser to get you out of that nightmare. Maybe, you know, hey, that hey. might be it. I mean, yeah, Elite Aid might might be able to help or something. Yeah, I mean, hey, it might only be one life, but one life at a time. Um, other than that, I I can't think of uh, really much going on. Uh, we got Thargoids, and we're holding our breath. Salvation's just, you know, doing their thing. And we're just kind of like, all right. And then Federation is just uh, trying to crack down on crime. Yeah, which, yeah. Like you know. I mean, like that's should be something they do all the time. Like there's a yeah. lot going on, but there's nothing going on. Cause I mean, it's a very strange week nothing, in the galaxy. <laughs> there's nothing like worth. Want to rate some ships real quick? I've got a few. Uh, oh yes, ship builds here from some famous pilots, in, you know, in the galaxy's history. Here we've got. Ed Foster's Viper Mark III. All right. So tell me what you think. Well, we'll start with the weapon setup, all right? Okay. We've got medium fixed beam lasers and small fixed cannons. Oh. That seems odd to me. That is an odd choice. Right. That doesn't seem odd. Fixed cannons. They don't have that much ammo. Right. And like. Well, I mean, they have like 50 ammo, I guess, but they're small, yeah, so it's not like they're doing a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> it's one thing if you're talking like medium or large cannons, but, or, you know, huge cannons mm. even. It looks like everything on it's E rated, including the shield generator. That's... The only thing that's not E rated is the power plant and the frame shift drive. I mean, at least he's moving. It's E rated? Sh- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. I, Commander, yeah. if you know, uh, what was this person's name? <laughs> Ed Foster. If you know Ed Ask Foster personally, <laughs> <laughs> send them our way because we need something here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really want to know what he's thinking here, what he's trying to accomplish here. So if you're the, if you know the barista at the starport that I go to, uh, you know, maybe just send them our way at this <laughs> point. You know. Just anyone. <laughs> let's go with... We need something. Let's go with uh, the next ship here. Genya Curian. Another Viper Mark III. Of course. Oh. Uh, Seems pretty shocker. popular. Good Probably ship, is yeah. a really cool ship. Um, uh, same E ratings for everything except for Power Plant and Frame Shift Drive, which is kind of weird. 
Seems to be a running thing, but okay. Medium seeker missiles and small fixed pulse lasers. See, that seems horrible. Once again, a little odd, but uh, I think I feel like that's a better choice than the cannon. I feel like that's better. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it has less ammo than the cannon, but like at least small in, cannons. Yeah, yeah. at least yeah. they're burst lasers and not pulse lasers, so you're at least getting some bang for your buck. Yeah. Versus just kind of shining a flashlight I'm, at it. I'm still confused on the E-rated everything else, though, besides the power plant and yeah, that uh, doesn't seem right. FSD. I know the, the Viper is pretty quick on its own, so I guess, you know, it's got the speed on its side. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're thinking they'll, like, boom and zoom kind of a thing? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like a lot. You get, you know, your missiles engineered and do it really well. I mean, there's maybe oh but yeah yeah but you still that, have I mean, to still you can't get to an engineer because you don't have a frame shift drive it's good yeah. to get anywhere yeah well actually the c-rated one but still but i mean even even if you got it all engineered you still have to get their shields down and those lasers like i mean that's gonna take some time <laughs> <laughs> unless it's an eagle that you're fighting <laughs> yeah and so if you're in the eagle watch out we can just accidentally run into you and sorry yeah and you're ty- trying to take down like a cutter oh those shields there's no way <laughs> yeah no you're just gonna be sitting there I, even if you went for the uh the power plant i don't think you could do it i don't th- yeah no i don't I think, think you would give me a courier and i'll take that <laughs> oh yeah curry well yeah but couriers are like you know they've just got little massive tiny shields. Shields. that's shields. what they are they're yeah. just actually just shields that's all they are <laughs> Which shields they're, down? Of, they're 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 like a uh oh yeah they're made out of paper but they have yeah. really good shields mm-hmm. well let's give let's give uh one more call out to our uh our our listeners yeah. however many of them there are <laughs> um if you have a build that you want us to critique you, know, you will let us know Give us, give us the build, and we'll, we'll take a look. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look at it. We'll build in a commander name, and we can we'll take a look at that and mm-hmm. critique it. I was gonna say, about how much better our builds are. Of course, yeah. <laughs> competition so far isn't very much to go against because you know you're going against E-rated no. stuff. But hey, I, you know I I love to see what people have for their builds because people have some pretty cool builds, and I've seen some people out there where I'm just like, yikes. That I didn't yeah. last at all. Seven heat engineered multi cannons. Do thermal damage for multi cannon. Seven yeah. of them. Don't need anything else. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, it. that's pretty, pretty much all you need. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I would love to see some of the builds that we can see in here. Be really cool. The odder, sure. the better. No. Give us some weird yeah. stuff. And it will give us something else to discuss on slow weeks like mm-hmm. this week. Yes. yes. Like this. When we're just kind of waiting for news. Yeah. We're going to have to come up with like a uh, scoring system or like a tier system, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to oh, work yeah. some of that off oh, yeah. off, uh, off mic and figure out what we can find out to rate these Yeah, things. and we'll have to, you know. Because, yeah, like you said, the weirder the better. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone has their ship that they like that they don't want to admit they like. They really like mm-hmm. it, you know. Like I love the Asp Explorer. Oh I'm yeah, proud but of so that. does everyone well, else. You just said that you <laughs> have. <laughs> oh no, nah. see, I like it because I can use it for a lot of things, and I mean, I, I could make it a small. You would never win else. <laughs> really, it's not gonna be. I don't know. It's one of those. It's you, just so versatile. I know exactly. That's what I love about it. I'm not proud that I'm. <laughs> no, I'm just like that's what everyone says. It's just that's literally like I'm not proud that I like it, but I like it. You know. <laughs> you know. I don't like so, it, but at least it's not a vulture. <laughs> I, I know Commander Stephanie. You know, she always goes on about the vulture, but I know for a I'm fact that she up. is a massive fan of the Cobra Mark IV. I will. Double three. I don't know which one I like worse. Like worse. I don't know which one yeah, I that's, don't. Uh, yeah, like that's a good discussion. Most. Which one do you like worse, <laughs> the Vulture or the Cobra yes. Mark IV? Oh my god! I think oh. the Cobra Mark IV. Really? At least the Vulture doesn't turn into a pancake in combat. That's true. Yeah. At least Flat. the Vulture's fast. Yeah, and you can. At you least can... the Vulture has big guns on it. Yeah. Uh, like the Mark IV. 
is just like a joke. Sticking. It is a joke. It honestly is a joke. (laughs) It's yeah. But like the vulture, they're both ugly. Well, but yeah. like one is ugly and won't get shot as easily in combat. Right. And one is ugly and is a pancake. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, if, if they start to turn, yeah, they just completely. That's pancake what you just, out you know, if you if you get a cobra, send us some great, you know, cobra Mark IV builds, and we'll we'll see. Yes, please. I guarantee I will rate all of them. <laughs> someone's got one out there. And really, on a scale oh, wow, of one to ten, actually, it's nice. They're all zero. <laughs> <laughs> you scored no but zero. for real i will say though uh, if you're fighting a cobra either cobra since they're such pancakes that would be the rare occasion where the fixed cannon build would be better. yes <laughs> yeah you could just hit them anyway yeah you can hit the broad side of a barn yeah can't miss even when they flatten if out i mean miss. you can still hit them pretty easily yeah mm-hmm. keep them their tail little guys yeah, yeah. But and their thrusters aren't right there, mm-hmm, so if they don't yeah. want you to hit their thrusters, they have to flatten out. Yeah, <laughs> they have to go you know wide and become a pancake, and they can become pancake. You hit everything else. Yeah, yep. Their cockpit's right there, so you get the option of not being able to fly or just dying. So you know, not not good. Yeah, and I've yeah. I've definitely seen some good builds for vultures, even though they aren't like very aesthetically pleasing chips. They they can do some damage. Saw know. Imperial Hammer Ultra of Ultra that yeah. did a lot of damage. Yeah. Whereas I, uh, you might be able to do something with a Cobra Mark IV, but like, it's just not there. It's not the same thing, you know. Mm-hmm. There's better stuff for your money, you know. Let's spend Definitely. your credits on literally anything. Go to the bar. I don't know. Get a drink. Uh, yeah. Anything better than a um, Cobra. Buy a Sidewinder at that point. Honestly, yeah. Sidewinders are a good ship. Yeah, they're a great I starter. Yeah. I miss my Sidewinder. Get an A-rated Railwinder and just yeah. sneak up behind people. Those things will yeah. smack <laughs> Those things will mess you mm-hmm. up. <laughs> it's one of those, oh, I feel Don't bad see them for coming this person. Boom. Gone. Paint so, them all black and go silent running and everything. Oh, yeah. So... And that's that's gonna be a pain right, to well, hit. Well, I think we should probably wrap it up for today. Yeah, yeah. I think say, we got some good ideas for. I, if anyone is still listening, I think uh, I think they need a round of applause. Just you know, congratulations, you made yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So please, Commander, get in touch with your uh, unique and uh, I'm sure amazing builds that you will be providing us with. <laughs> <Yeah>, questionable. <laughs> But um, I I think we could probably wrap it up for this this week. Yeah. Um. I feel like we should almost separate these into two different things. One of them's like the news, and the other one's gonna be you know ship stuff. Well, I mean, that's the idea. It doesn't always have to be news. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. There's talk show. It's just but, like, you know the past know. few weeks have been completely dominated with Thargoid news and whatnot. So we've had a lot of news. Yeah, and this seems like kind of a slow week. So yes, in fact, you know, last week we even were like, oh well, we're actually going to hold off just because we were expecting something to happen. And yeah, because it was yeah. kind of slow. Yeah, because yep. it was slow, but and now we're what? Slow. it's we still slow. We have to wait two more weeks. <laughs> yeah, congratulations! Over the last week, we have done nothing. Technically. One of us did something, because Commander Congruent, you flew out to Colonia. I mean, you were doing that on yes, this entire that's true. journey. Yes, I I made it out there, and dear God, oh, it was rough. Which is kind of like the most, the most nothing something you can do. Uh, yes, <laughs> which is explain, why it's perfect for yeah. this episode, because we we're not really talking yeah. about anything anyway. When I explain to people, you know, flying out to Colonia without a fleet carrier, they're just like, why? Why would you do that? I'm just like, I, I don't know. Yep. I don't know at all. I'm lost. <laughs> I mean, so, at least you could say you did it now. Yeah. But it doesn't I carry mean, the same nice. ring as when, like, they were first venturing out, if you know what I mean. Like, Hell yeah, yeah before when the only <laughs> thing out there was Jack Station. <laughs> yeah. When that just jumped out there by accident, and then everyone was like, oh. I, say, I did discover quite a bit. 
Of course, nothing for the codex because you know okay. everything's been found yeah, no, already. All mapped. But you know, yep. I got a few systems that are mine now. That anytime you fly in there, you're gonna see my name. Oh, so, yeah. hey, there if you I go. Ever head out to Colonia? I'll definitely be looking for your name. Yeah, you're not gonna find it. I did find the loneliest system. It's just a black hole. Wow, Th- that's it. That it's, is. Uh, it was, one could even hesitate to call it a system. <laughs> I know it's. Just Are you a sure you didn't just jump to a black hole? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much what it was. One I just of those, you like, know, free floating showed ones. up and I like you know scanned as one signal reported. I'm like, okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I sat there for about five yeah. minutes going. I flew all the way out here for this. And then, then I was like, all right. Didn't well, even get a free anaconda and, for it. And I left. Exactly. Yeah, not like at Hutton Orbital where you get a free yeah. anaconda if you show mm-hmm. up at Hutton Orbital. Yeah. I got my Hutton mug, but I didn't go. My my dear friend, King, that... King Commander Congruent Crib, went and got it for me for yep. my birthday. Mm-hmm. Don't ask where I got now it, because I, I haven't been I there have either. Worn. But don't ask where I got it. <laughs> I know people. <laughs> Fell off of a... Uh... Type 9 shipment somewhere in the yeah, bubble. Yeah, Type 9 leaving. Poor commander. Probably got stuck in the mail slot. <laughs> you got stuck in the mail slot. I'm just like, I'm just going to snag that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just like, I can't get out. And before you know <laughs> it was gone, I'm just like, Yee! running away with it. Well, I mean, if you're going through it, you know, as a, as a pilot who has a Type 9, when you're scraping... You can't really hear much else. It's just, you know, just constant metal on metal and, you know, possibly an explosion if if the other ship decides to uh, accidentally hit not have ship. shields or something. Yeah. You know what I like to do with Type 9s? I like to try to reverse boost through the mail slot. Why? Oh, yeah. Why would you do that? so fun. It is, yeah. You just hit the, hit the you know, the uh, flight assist off. Oh god! And then you know you line up, and, hope for and the then best. you uh, you boost, and then you flip around, and then as soon as you get into the mail slot, you boost again, so that way you slow down in time before you hit the back. Yep. Yeah. Don't, of course, Commander don't, Congruent you know, doesn't know flight assist off because he doesn't use anything but auto dock. So you know that's kind of lost. Okay. On no, him, no. But... Some of my ships <laughs> back do... in the days when us when us smugglers had to dock real fast before our before five hundred. Uh, things from Rubio yeah were nullified by a single scan. I say I don't that know. Was, it's those just were rough, some rough of the days. times when you get like a slot, you know, uh, slot two, you know, like there's not much you can really add to there. I mean, all reinforcement maybe. That, that, Depends on how great. Yeah. yeah, it's you know. I mean, we'll we'll find really out in there. in a couple of weeks or so when we get all these builds coming in. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Give me a reason yeah, to replace commanders that. Commanders who don't rely on the auto dock. Yes, what give, give me a reason. you put in your size <laughs> one and two slots? Yes, that that is the question of the week. What is in your size one and two slot? What do you have? Now tell me what's in your slot. <laughs> what garbage do you haul around that's just useless? So, yeah. Show us the contents of your slot. All right, on that note, I think I'm going to get going because I need to eat. Yep. Yeah. All right, Commander. Well, obviously, there's a a lot to uh, mull over. <laughs> a lot of people that you need to contact for us. <laughs> and um, a lot of ship builds that you got to get working on. So, uh, yeah, if anything, it's more work for you than us. Yeah. 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 We're sorry again. Notice how we flipped that around you know? on you. <laughs> it's a switcheroo. But, um, you know. I think uh, I think that's going to be it for this week of Maya XM. I'm Commander Felix Jefferson signing off, and I'm Commander Stephanie Atchnock signing off. And this is Commander Congruent Cribs signing off. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day, week, whatever it's going to be. Fly safe, Commander. And then now we need <laughs> the special after credits thing. <laughs> that we always do every week now except i don't yeah, think we did it last week i'm the one who's supposed to say fly safe <laughs> <laughs> oh it's because i normally go last and do it and that's why it tripped me up i know <laughs> <laughs>
but I went first and I messed it up. So I might. <laughs>